Spam. <laughs> my new switch has finally arrived. I was basically woken up by this because I received a call that my package has arrived, so I had to go take it. And after doing Anki, I pretty much just decided that I'm going to record this video. And this time, I'm actually going to do it in live commentary mode. This is actually just an empty box because I already took the switches out, but not sure why it says touch the fashion. But anyway, I basically wanted to say that it came in a box like this, and thus far, I've always received all switches in a bag like this, so I assumed that there's just going to be a bag like this inside this box as well, but came out that there was actually a box like this in that box. And it's pretty interesting because like I said, I've only seen switches being sold in bags like this, so to receive switches in a tiny box like this was pretty interesting. I guess it's kind of nice that they have the photograph on the back of the and they got some Chinese. Tanraku kitten. <laughs> I have a mosquito on my microphone. But anyway, the interesting part about it is that I didn't really think much about it because I was so tired in the morning. So I thought that there's going to be a bag like this inside this box. But instead, when I open it, they're laid out like this one by one. Like, nani kore? Damn, that's some fancy packaging. I've never seen anything like this before. Like I said, I just thought they would come in a box like this, but they are in a tray, one by one. Which is, I guess, nice because it means that the pins won't get bent and stuff like that. But it, in some ways it feels kind of wasteful, but I guess it is like a matter of the switches not getting damaged and stuff like that nowadays. So I guess I can try to open them now. Wait. But if I open them, are they going to like... Well, I kind of was worried that they're going to like go flying all over the place, but I guess not. Okay, well, these are the new switches and I still haven't pressed them down, so I have no clue what they feel like. I wonder if I can... Okay, they don't fall out. That's nice. Ah, uh, they kind of looks like it wants to fall. Oh no, they're pretty, they're pretty sturdy in this packaging. That's... This packaging is really crazy. Okay, I guess I'm going to press one of the switches down now and see what it feels like. Oh. So first of all, this is the smoothest linear switch I've ever tried. That's for sure. And I love the force curve. I really love the force curve. It feels really flat. Like the resistance on the top is really similar to the resistance on the bottom. And it just feels smooth all the way through. There is no like steppiness or stuff like that. Hold on. Yeah, there is no steppiness whatsoever. It feels incredibly smooth all the way from the top to the bottom. It also feels like the switches come up really nicely. Like even when I barely have pressed it down, it, like even here, it really feels like the switch really wants to come up, come back up. So it basically deactivates itself really quickly. I haven't put them to a board yet, but I can already tell that these linears are going to be my favorite linears of all time. They just feel really nice. Yeah, they're smooth all the way through and the resistance is really uniform and really nice. They're also really light, but they don't feel light in a good way. So anyway, I'm actually going to take a switch out of the housing as well now. I guess this is what the switch looks like up close. And yeah, it's a nice looking switch. What, what can I say? I mean, it's not the most interesting switch in the sense that it's just a gray stem and it doesn't have like a cool orange housing like the tangerines. But I mean, it's, it's still a okay looking switch, I suppose. But anyway, Okay, I wanted to demonstrate this. So, look at these two switches. This is the really old original Gator and Black, and this is the new Aqua Vintage White. And this is spring swapped for a lighter spring, I think from a Gator and Brown spring or a Cherry MX Blue spring. And I want to compare the smoothness. So the new switch, it's just incredibly smooth all the way from the top to the bottom. There is no scratchiness and it doesn't get stuck anywhere. So it's not steppy. But this switch, however, it kind of feels like, like, you see this? Okay, like, if it goes even slightly to the side, 
You see how it gets stuck everywhere? Of course, if I like try to press it exactly on the middle. No, it's still like kind of steppy. But in comparison, even when I push it to the side, this switch is incredibly smooth. And in terms of the force curve, this switch is heavier than this one. But if I try to push them both together at the same time, you see how see how the black switch starts actuating before the vintage white even starts going down. That's the difference between the force curve. However, if I push it all the way down, see, at some point, the resistance of the black switch gets heavy enough for it to start pushing down the silver switch. And now the silver switch is bottomed out. And this essentially means that even though this switch is much lighter, the force curve is flatter, meaning that the resistance on the top is close to the resistance on the bottom, while as on this switch, the resistance on the top is like non-existent compared to the resistance on the bottom. And here is also a non-spring swapped version of the Gator in Black with the bottom housing switched for like a Cherry MX Grey bottom housing or something. And this switch is just incredibly heavy. I do not like, I just, honestly, I just do not like this switch because it's just so heavy and it gets heavier and heavier on the bottom. I do not like that. It's heavy to the extent that it just pushes the vintage white down entirely. Anyway, here is my hand-wired keyboard. And before I received these switches, I was thinking that maybe, you know, I'll play around with them a little bit and then decide whether or not I'm going to change the switches out at all. But honestly, now that I received them, I'm honestly quite excited to try them out on this keyboard. So I actually think that I'm just going to open up this keyboard, change out all the switches and then try typing on it because I'm actually excited to do that now. However, the issue kind of is that I only have 45 of these switches, which should be enough for the alphanumericals, but it isn't enough for the alphanumericals plus the modifier keys. And I actually really want the modifier keys to have these new switches as well, because I want my modifier keys to be really lightweight, because I press them with my pinky finger. And I guess it would be nice if the arrow keys would also be the Echo Vintage Whites, so maybe I'll have to order a second batch of these. Also, apparently the new version of these Vintage Whites are, I think, the Jelly Whites. So basically these are an inferior version to the Jelly Whites, I think, from what I understand. Which is a bit unfortunate, but I mean, from what I understand, the stems of the new ones are just like a boxy design and that's pretty much it. Like, I don't know if there's any other difference. Like, some people said that these Vintage whites are scratchy compared to the new ones, but I don't know, these are like by far the smoothest linears I've tried. I'm not going to bother lubing them because that just takes way too much time, I think. And I don't even have lube and the switches are pretty smooth regardless. Okay, I gotta admit this switch here, this switch is really smooth. But this one here feels a bit scratchier, but it's still relatively smooth. I mean, I guess I kind of should loop the switches, but I've never looped switches and I would need to wait for some loop to arrive and it would delay my ability to try these switches out. So maybe I won't this time. Maybe if I'm going to order a second patch so I could fill the entire keyboard with this, then Maybe I'll loot them, but for now, I just want to try them out. So I guess I'll just open this keyboard up. Okay, I opened up the keyboard and I guess I gotta switch out all the switches from like here to here. However, 
I'm not really sure if I'm going to waste these switches on the number keys because I mean it's not that important for these keys to be the linear so perhaps I'll save them for the modifier keys instead I'm not really sure yet but I guess I'm going to start from the alpha keys so I'll get started Okay, comes out that these switches do not fit into this plate. I've been trying for over 10 minutes and I cannot get a switch into this plate. For some reason, they're just too thick for this plate. They just don't fit in any way. 